Hey folks, how are you guys doing today? Hope you are all having a great day as usual and the complete opposite of last week. Yesterday it was 87, yesterday. Last week it was 87 degrees and beautiful. Today it's, it's freezing, so I've got my jacket on and the heater going again. I uh, wish this weather would make up its mind and, and stick to something. Uh, the last project I did was the uh, tabletop for my eventual dining table. And there's just a lot that I really, really like about this particular project so far. Uh, the uh, the the ends of the breadboard ends, the end grain of the breadboard ends, um, inadvertently kind of flows with the rest of the grain that goes to the sides of the actual panel. I posted a picture on Instagram showing one of them, but three out of the four have a nice flowing grain through the through the through the end grain that matches the side of the whole panel, and it looks just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm very very. Um, I'm excited about this project. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I took the time to uh, use my, I've got a number four and a half Wood River uh, plane that I bought pretty much to be a smoothing plane. So it's set up as a smoothing plane and even uh, against the grain in this hickory, it just smooths beautifully. I love it. Um, but I used it to kind of smooth everything out and then uh, there's a couple spots where um, uh, the planer um, chipped out just a little bit so instead of uh, uh, planing all of that down it was easier to scrape a little bit of it uh, but I've got the top looking really good I'm excited to put some finish on it but I'm gonna hold off until I do the finish for the whole project uh, at that point I'll just finish it all I don't want to break out the finishing supplies and then have to tie up my shop with not making any dust and all that for a finish I think I'm gonna go with I want to keep something that's clear I don't want anything that's gonna yellow um, so I may do uh, either lacquer or a water-based polyurethane. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to get this project done. It's been a while since I've just been like, oh, super excited to get something done. The, the wedged through mortise and tendon end, um, I, did I say tendon? Mortise and tendon. Mortise and tendon end, and mortise and tendon end. Whew, I'm, I'm not on a good roll today. Anyway, um, I haven't seen that particular setup done in a breadboard end, and I, I thought about it and I was like, that might look pretty unique. So I, I did it based upon how I thought the project would end up looking like, not necessarily, um, in, in, not necessarily just because it's more superior than another method or anything. I just knew that it would look pretty cool and I wanted to do it. So that's why I did it that way. Um, what else? Oh. Um, my fear of destroying that particular wedge when I pull, if I was to pull it back out. So I mentioned in the video that um, the wedge was too small. I had already driven it all the way home and I couldn't pull it back out. Well, for two reasons I didn't even attempt or think about pulling it out was number one, the glue was on there longer than what it shows in the video because I, I put the glue on, then I drove it home, and repositioned the camera and all that stuff. So the glue was on there for quite a while and I was fearing that the glue was starting to set up in the the piece of the tenon that pivots to one side. So I wanted to do something immediately. And my first thought was to just get a small piece of hickory and put in the side to fill fill the void and just be done with it. It wasn't that big of a gap to begin with, uh, but just to be done with it. So that's what I did. Um, I didn't want to dwell on the project or dwell on the mistake too long to try and figure out another solution, which a lot of people suggested drilling a small tiny hole, putting a screw in it and pulling it back out. Um, I didn't even think of that to be honest with you while I was doing it, but also uh, there wasn't much material in that wedge whatsoever, so that may have just cracked it off uh, to one side, uh, and then it been, and then if, if the glue is already setting up, then pulling that particular material out would be a nightmare. And then at that point, if you get half of it out and then you have half of it in, well, then it just looks kind of crappy. So then you have to chisel it out and blah 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 blah. So I didn't think of that. But looking back on it, I think I made the right decision as far as just being in the moment. Um, like I said, I, I panicked when it happened and I was kind of bummed about it. But uh, I'm not going to beat myself. Up. I'm not going to beat myself up over it because it turned out great. Uh, you just it was just it is what it is, and you just move on. So um, yeah, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, one quick uh, word of advice or quote or whatever that I really liked. Uh, Mighty Mike said. Uh, in the comments, he said, there are no errors, just opportunities to be unique. And I really like that. So I'm going to steal that quote from you. So next up is obviously the table base. And 
I need to get started on it today, actually. Um, I need to get the, the slab rough cut to the sizes so those smaller pieces out of that slab have an opportunity to move or do whatever they want to do before I start actually milling the lumber. Um, so they're going to probably get cut later this afternoon and, and sit overnight, at least one night, uh, maybe two nights actually, before I start actually milling them. Um, I'm not sure on all of the small little details on the table just yet. I don't want to do, like, it's going to be like a, a mission style base like I originally showed, but I don't want to leave all of the corners just nice and perfect and straight lines and all that stuff. I want to do something to the edges, and I'm thinking maybe some some type of subtle chamfers here and there, and maybe a, um, oh, what is that small detail called? A, a bird's mouth, dove's mouth? Something. Anyway, I'll post a picture on the screen of what I'm thinking of. Just a sm slight little elegant detail, I guess. Um, so yeah, I still have to work out all of that. And then I think I am going to do plans for this project. So today, this week is going to be absolutely crazy to get all of that done. Plans are, um, from a business perspective, they're worth it. But man, are they time consuming. So... I've got to get the ball rolling on that. I've got a lot of stuff to do this week. I'm also going to shoot a little update video on my workbench as far as the, the couple changes that I've made with the... I've made some changes to the leg vise, to the uh, dog holes, and all that stuff. So I'm going to shoot a little update. That'll go on the main channel. I'm also going to do a tool talk on um, my bandsaw. I did an actual tool talk video on my bandsaw already and went to edit the footage and realized that the microphone, this microphone up here, was turned off when I recorded that. And I don't know why, but I deleted my um, lavalier microphone, so I don't have any audio. I've got to reshoot it. Um, that should be this Thursday. Uh, what else we got? No opportunities for a SketchUp video because I'm doing plans on this. Uh, just It's just a lot of fun stuff coming up. It's going to be a, be a busy week. Also, fun stuff coming up next Next weekend, two weeks from now, uh, the first weekend of April, I will be in Atlanta. If you have the opportunity to come out and uh, stop by The Woodworking Show in Atlanta, Georgia, it'd be a lot of fun. It's going to be a three-day weekend. Um, it's going to be a lot of other content creators and just talking shop for a couple days, plus all kinds of tools there. And I'm becoming a huge fan of tools, so it's going to be a it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm road tripping out there with a friend of mine, Sean Stone. And I'm just excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've said it's going to be a lot of fun already, huh? Yeah, I've said that twice, three, four times. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that's it. I don't have much else to talk about. I'm just rambling and taking up time. So you guys take care. Have a great day, and I will see you in a couple days.